Okay. And then, of course, Dinah Ross. With our time now at uh, 50 minutes after 9 o'clock, we say good morning once again. And I was just saying to my guests that I had um, Dinah Ross and Lionel Richie lined up, and I was torn between playing Endless Love and the song I just played. I should have played Endless Love because Dwayne Robinson is here with his new bride. So let me say good morning to them both. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I should have played Endless Love. It would have been great. But congratulations. <laughs> Thank you congratulations. so much. Now I'm going to let folks know a little secret. You couldn't fix your earphones. Your wife had to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, pay attention. And she'll, she, she, she's okay. Thank yeah. you. So Mrs. Robinson, thank you for coming by this morning. No has it been difficult with your husband? Um, it has been a new experience for me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it has been a good one though, canvassing and being able to talk to talk people that you will really see on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. So it has been a great experience oh, for wonderful. me. Oh, wonderful. All right. Well, as we said, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And you pay attention to your wife. I had to let folks know that, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely, <laughs> yeah. She's definitely uh, hand, the hands on one. She's the hands yeah. on All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I was reading about Dwayne Robinson, about how he grew up in Albert Row and at the dockyard and the schools he attended and the volunteering that he had done over the years with the SPCA, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, the Raleigh International in India, the Family Learning Center. And he joined the Royal Bermuda Regiment and he was just about to take his exams as a Lance Corporal when he was asked to serve as an OBA Senator. So he's been there now in Senate for a full year. And he has spent five years in the hospitality industry, working in the grocery business as well for the past two years. And he's currently employed at, well, can I say? So, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. Did yourself. That's where he is. All right. So your background um, is in advertising and marketing. You're the co-founder of, people might remember this, it's that type of party. That's a p political social commentary con content, mm -hmm. creating platform. Co-founder of the newly founded production team, Suburbia Productions, and the founder of Neo Ampax Productions. That's another content creating team that deals primarily in fashion and modeling. So, and the last thing I can say is that um, he has made news by being an experienced executive producer of short films, music videos, photo shoots, YouTube videos, adverts, and other content. And he produced a film called Confessions, The Power of Birth, which won the Bermuda Society of Arts competition, and it was also shown at, at BIF. While I would love to talk to him about all of these things, especially his uh, time in India, can't do that because now he has decided that um, he's going to run on Thursday as a candidate in constituency, is it 20? Consti 17. Oh, so I don't know why I said 20 at the beginning. In constituency <laughs> 17. So, uh, thank you again for coming in, Mr. Robinson. You say that you've been well received by the, the voters in uh, constituency 17 they've been very receptive to you but you also said in an interview with the royal gazette i do believe that folks are very disconnected from politics right now why do you believe that and what can you as a candidate do to alleviate some of the the fears and problems that people might have uh, yeah but right before i um, answer that i got three edits so that people don't get mad at me oh <laughs> What? Superbia Productions. Superbia, yes. Neo Apex. Yes. And um, I was a full corporal and I was taking my exams to be a lieutenant. So. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, I'm, that's not your fault. <laughs> no, but I had no. to do that on the air because I know people might be listening and they're like, now nah, listen. Yes, let's get it right. <laughs> yeah, got yeah. it. <laughs> but um, yes, I, I do believe that uh, a lot of folks are uh, disconnected from politics currently due to, you know, the the growing feeling that politicians are not really looking out for them. And I do believe Have that... Have you said um, that? Well, that's, yeah, that's what I hear often when they do a step. Often. Yeah. And I do believe that, you know, being in either party and being surrounded by, you know, supporters of said party, mm -hmm. sometimes it may put you in a bubble if you're not careful. And you realize the majority of the population is actually undecided. And they tend to vote 
either way mm. that they feel so inclined or do not vote at all. So how do you feel that, what do you feel that, what will you give to that community if you are elected? Well, I plan to give myself. <laughs> so yes. I want to um, do town halls every month. I want to just be visible, to be connected, to be able to actually voice their concerns in the House of Assembly. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is something that a lot of us are missing now, is to actually feel represented by their MP and their constituency. A lot of times MPs will, you know, go around during election season and a lot of people say, well, I just don't see them anymore. And people say to me, oh, I, I agree. I agree with your ideas, but, you know, we 